hi guys welcome back to my channel day i don't know what day in quarantine day to be honest and sunday i woke up thinking it was monday i was so confused oh yeah welcome to my channel guys today's video i just want to sit down and do some makeup even though i have nothing to do i literally have nowhere to go so i was like you know what i'm gonna do my makeup and just because i feel like there's a lot of us that are just sitting home doing nothing or maybe we're just really really bored and makeup makes us very happy so today i was like you know what let's do a colorful quarantine makeup and today i want to do like a purple look so i have been seeing like some people doing like that lavender look eyeshadow look and i'm going to be posting some of these the ones that i have seen and it kind of inspired me to do this and i want to do it now um so yeah today's video is going to be a little tutorial just for fun just to keep me busy just to keep you busy watching my videos and if you guys have not seen any other of my videos you guys can go ahead and watch those and binge watch those yeah, so let's just go ahead and get started so i don't know why is it that every time i'm in my house and i don't know why i just don't really try to take care of my skin that much but it gets very very dry i tend to try to take care of my skin when i take off my makeup like last night i didn't don't hate me but i didn't so i'm gonna go ahead and moisturize i am using the tatcha dewy skin cream i'm gonna go ahead and use this all over my face now i'm gonna go in with a brow vow I think it's Bravo Conditioning Brow Primer from Benefit. And I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyebrows as well. Now I'm going to go ahead and prime my face using the Urban Decay Face Primer. You know what? Let's switch it up today. Let's go ahead and do the eyes first. Yes, let's go ahead and do the eyes first. Um, I never do my eyes first because I don't really, I'm not really used to it. So I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, now that my brows are on, I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Eye Primer. This eye primer is the best. So I'm going to go ahead and use this as a base because I am going to be using like pastel colors. Well, I'm going to be making myself a pastel color shadow. So I really want my base to be a little bit more wider than normal. Sometimes I go in with my concealer and I'm okay with that. But today we're going to just be using this as a base so I can have like a really nice blank canvas. Now I'm going to be going in with this shade from ABH, this one right here from the Norvina palette. And I'm going to be adding this to the whole lid and just kind of blending that out. And don't worry, we're going to blend that out with a little bit of white so you guys can see what I mean. I'm going to go ahead and get C1. And we're going to just kind of add this here. And it's going to turn it like a pastel color. And I'm basically going to blend all of this out and just blow it out. Because I want it to be very like grungy lavender color. And I just want to say that I am using a fluffy brush for this. Because I kind of want this to go all over the eye since I do want it to be like an all over lavender shade and then once you have that purple go in with that white I really recommend the ABH Norvina palette because that white tends to create any color that you have here into a pastel color which is amazing and that's why I love this palette so so much especially that white right now basically what I'm doing is I'm building up the color and making it a little bit more darker of a pastel color now what I'm doing again is getting B4 from the Norvina palette. I'm going in again. Basically kind of making the crease a little bit more darker to add a little bit more dimension to my eye so it doesn't look too flat. And we're just going to go ahead and just blend this out by making sure that I'm focusing it on the crease. I'm still using the same brush. I do recommend you finding a brush that will basically kind of help you and guide you so it can fit your type of crease depending how the size of your own crease. I have a really big lid so I feel like I, have, I could use like a bigger brush. Does that make any sense? So I want to tell you guys something and I don't know how I feel about it. Because I basically made my TikTok. I've had an account. It's just that I feel like I'm not funny enough for it. I feel like every time I see it I'm like oh my god people are just so funny. I wish I was that funny. But I mean, I feel like I'm a little bit funny when it comes to me, my family, the people that I'm close to. But when it comes to online, I don't think I'm that funny. So, I mean, I downloaded it because, I mean, there's nothing else to do here. 
and i really want to explore that tiktoks because everyone looks like they're having so much fun there and i'm like i want to have fun so i downloaded it um if you guys want to follow me there i'll leave the link down below in the description box so you guys can go ahead and follow me there because i don't really have that much followers i think i only have like 17. okay now that that's done i'm gonna go in with my face primer i'm gonna go in with the laura mercier primer um i love this or should it yeah i should use this one i love this one go ahead and apply this on my face for my foundation i'm gonna be going in with the fenty beauty foundation we're gonna go in with this one and we're gonna go ahead and squirt i am in the shade 260 i love this foundation because even though i'm dry i like the fact that i don't have to set it that much as long as i moisturize very very good that's all i need I do feel like I tend to work a little bit faster with this foundation because I don't want it to dry on on me really, really quick since it kind of does set itself, sets itself up, sets itself up. I think that's how you say it. I don't know what's going on wrong with me. I can't talk. So right now what I like to do is I'm going to go in with the beauty blender and make sure that I blend anything out just in case I have any streaks of the brush because I have not washed it so it's a little bit like nasty which I have to do. Um, I have to wash all my brushes and I am not trying to do that to be honest like oh no 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 I don't want to do that. I hate I hate washing my brushes because I'm like halfway and I'm like wow I'm already tired because it's so much work and i'm like they're so dirty and i feel like at this point i really do need to wash them like i do it's like an emergency 911. next i'm gonna go in with my urban decay stay naked concealer i love this concealer so so much i feel like it does kind of crease me a little but i actually love the way it makes my skin look so i'm just gonna go ahead and use this and now i'm gonna go ahead and blend it in with my beauty blender Now that my face is basically done, I'm just with the concealer and the foundation and the setting powder. I'm going to go ahead again with my eyes. And we're going to go in again with the same colors B4 and C1 from the Norvina palette. And we're going to go ahead and just finish off the rest of this eye look. And since it's going to be like a grungy kind of like lavender look, I'm going to go ahead and drag it out all the way down. So it can be a little bit more of a grungier feel instead of a glamorous look go ahead and grab that shade before that purple one and i'm basically going to do circular motions and then just blend it out and drag it down a little bit more then i'm grabbing that c1 which is that white shade from the norvina palette and i'm going to go over this purple and making sure that i kind of tone it down just a tad bit more so it doesn't look too purple like i wanted to look a little bit more pastel -y. and then we're gonna go back so basically what i'm doing is I'm going back in with the b4 and c1 and blending those out together i'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on this other eye so do you see what i'm doing here right now what i'm gonna be doing is i'm gonna do the same thing what i did to this eye right now and i'm gonna go ahead and just drag it all down all the way under my bag my eye bag and basically just dragging it like that and then blending it out like that, this is how you kind of create like a grungier eye look. And just making sure that you blend that purple and tone it down just a tad bit more. Now I'm going to go in with A1 from the Norvina palette. We're going to use this color, which is like a shimmery lavender color. And we're going to add this to our inner corner. I'm gonna go in with Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is their ABH Lash Brag Mascara. We're gonna go ahead and just coat our lashes really quick. And then I'm gonna go in with the Baddie B Lashes in the style Baddie and use these right here. I'm going to be using my Hula Bronzer from Benefit. I'm going to be tapping into this and making sure that I contour myself. Make sure that I chisel myself really good. So I'm gonna go like in with a deep contour. I also like to get it into right here on top of my nose because I feel like it just, I don't know, I feel like it doesn't make me look too, too pale. And I actually like doing this because I'm going to go in and add a little bit of freckles. And I feel like it gives my skin like that more like of a skin texture-like look because I actually do have freckles on my face. 
but with my makeup since they're not that dark it does cover it so i like to go in with a little bit more freckles in there i'm gonna go in with ciate this is their marbled blush this is their marble light and flare and i love to use this it does give me like that nice very blushy look so as you can tell i'm gonna go ahead and just apply this and i'm using this lime crime brush that i got um, it comes like in a little brush set so i think they still have it so you guys go ahead and check that out if you guys want to so i'm gonna go ahead and go in with my nose and my cheek next i'm gonna go in with the lime crime sun kiss freckle pen which is my favorite and we're gonna go ahead and just add a little bit more freckles here because i tend to only have them in my nose so we're just gonna go ahead and just add them back I like to get like the bronzer brush that I was using as well and then kind of tap it over so it doesn't look too like, you know, there, just paint it on. So I like to go in back with the bronzer that I have and then just kind of pack it on again. Okay, for my lip, I kind of want to do something different. I feel like orange goes very well with purple. So I'm going to go in with two of the monsters, Le Monsters from House Lavatories. We're going to go in with two right here we're gonna go in with dust and fire me so i'm gonna go in with dust first and we're gonna put that all over the lips and then we're gonna go in with fire me in the middle of my lips just to kind of add a little bit more color we're gonna add it right here And I just love the way this color combo looks. So now we're going to go in with my Urban Decay Setting Spray, which I love so, so much. It's one of my favorites. And make sure that you shake it. If not, it's going to be a little bit more splattery. We're going to go ahead and set our face. And we're going to go ahead and fan. You guys, I am so... I am so over this quarantine. Like, you guys have no idea. Sometimes I see the news and, like, nothing seems to kind of like seem like oh things are getting better it's just things are getting worse and i am so over it so makeup does really make me feel better let me know what you guys think of the look so far down in the comments below i am always commenting there so if you guys are wanting to talk to me you guys can go ahead and talk to me there or you guys can go ahead and follow me on instagram i'm always there um so now we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of highlighter which my highlighter that i've been loving right now so far too it is the milk makeup this is their flex highlighter and it's so so pretty we're gonna go ahead and highlight our face with this grabbing their milk makeup brush this is a highlighter brush we're gonna go ahead and just highlight the glow that it gives this is so nice this is in the shade lit i don't know if i mentioned that i already forgot if i did but it's so freaking blinding and i love it so 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 much this is the final look guys Let me know what you guys think in the comments below of this look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really just wanted to sit down and do my makeup because it literally takes my mind off things. And I know I kind of mentioned about the quarantine and all that stuff. But at the end of the day, we all know that's behind our mind. But I just like to sit down and kind of show you guys a makeup look that I did. And I was really, really craving to do like a purple lavender look for you guys since I had seen those pictures. So let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Did you guys think it was an easy look? Because I feel like it's a pretty easy look. I only used two shades and i only used one of the little highlighter in here but other than that i only used two shades from a palette thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart for watching this video and hope you guys are staying safe and i love you guys and if you guys are not subscribed to my channel go ahead and please subscribe down below and hit the bell notification to know when i post another video if you guys hit that like button and comment that's going to help youtube know that you guys are into my videos and it's going to be recommending it to other people so that will help me out a lot and if you guys if you guys are not following me on tiktok go ahead and follow me there i'm posting there now and sometimes i'm a little cringy i feel like i'm a little cringy but i think that's just me being hard on myself but yeah thank you guys so much and don't forget to follow me on instagram and twitter for more and i'll see you guys next time bye